Hello folks, it's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak and we are here today to talk about our popular combi canoes, which is by far our fastest growing category. We've taken the really popular tandem canoes that our designer David Yost, DY, has done. The Prospector 15 and 16, Kiwaden 16 and 17, and we've made them extremely versatile and I'm going to show you what we've done in this video. And we love David Yost. And one of the things he's known most for is what he calls the triangle of reserve, which is how much area you can lean the boat over, how much the bubble comes up the side. And what's really cool about David Yost's designs is they're very consistently rounded from one end to the other. So let's go at it, folks. We're going to tell you all about these beautiful boats. How about this beautiful Prospector 15 to start with? This is one in the Galaxy Finish, one of our spray technician matte specialty. Absolutely super cool look to it. No two are the same. Matt loves putting them together. This particular one is in the carbon fusion laminate. It's got the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. And folks, this is a super smooth finish. We put a really neat outer lip on this also that like wood trim helps deflect the splash and the spray away from the boat. All of the boats have a carbon end caps with a carbon Kevlar trim. This one also has the carbon tech package with the carbon handles, the carbon seats. And a lot of people with the solo boats folks, they get the center seat detachable. And we've got this great pin system that we've developed in which we're able to take the seats out very quickly. Now, here's something I really want to point out, which is why you want to buy a Swift Combi canoe. We put a foam core system in and rib system into the boat. Wherever we put a seat pod, we do a rib wider than the pod itself. The, the rib butts tightly up against the core on the bottom and comes tight up to the top of the rib on the top, right to the gunnel. It's super, super tight. The structural integrity of these boats, guys, is incredible. There's other combi canoes I've seen on the market that they have a lot of flex to them. They've got a lot of play. People sometimes ask when they're transporting the boat, does it have the structural integrity? We always put a bow thwart in the combis to help make the boat more rigid, stiffer, add to the structural integrity. So let's go down this boat, Joe. The carbon seats. All of our seats we make as wide frame as we can in the boat so you can merely move around a lot. There's a nice angle to the front of every seat so when you're kneeling it doesn't dig into the back of your legs. And look at this, how about a little bit of the galaxy in the sunlight? Doesn't that look beautiful? All of our boats have serial numbers on the back of them. And Joe, let's show the folks this beautiful boat over here. We're really known for our lightweight carbon Kevlar trim system, but we do a couple dozen beautiful cherry trim finished boats every year. And this is a Prospector 15 in the Expedition Kevlar laminate with a beautiful ruby cloth on the outside. All of the Expedition Kevlars have this black internal skid plate on the outside of it. People that really use their boats rough will sometimes also get the color skid plates on top of that. Now this is cherry outers, cherry inners, we put a nice smooth deck on here. It's got scuppers on it so the water can drain out when you turn it over. All the hardware stainless steel. Charlie ha cherry handles. So you come down the boat. Let's look over here, Joe. Let me show, see how wide we bring the seat out on each side? Now this one has what's called the quick change seating system. So if someone just wants to have the solo set up in the boat, they can very quickly take out the two, the bow and the stern seat and have a great solo setup, have a little bit more for room for gear in the boat. 
Now, very quickly, let me just show this to you. We've got a really cool pin system and magnets that our guys have engineered. And I'm gonna put the bow seat back in. Very quickly, I'll put it up. One of the keys to these, this system, folks, is the pods themselves that our guys have worked a long time. They design each one, specific height, specific width. I drive them a little crazy sometimes. We wanna get the seats at particular precise heights. And uh, it's worked out well. We've got an incredible team of people at our factory that do this absolutely beautiful work. Now, I'm gonna quickly take this center seat out. Now you've got a great tandem setup without the weight of the center seat in it. You also can get a detachable yoke. And important to note, folks, on our solo canoes and our combi canoes, the yoke is not standard in the boat. And this particular fellow in British Columbia that ordered this boat is not carrying his boat, so he ordered it without it. So if you do want a yoke, there's choices, a cherry yoke, detachable, a sassafras yoke, a carbon yoke. Prospector 15, let's show you some nice paddler inside of it. Folks, how about this beauty? This is a carbon fusion Prospector 15 combi with a black carbon on the outside. And this one has a beautiful aqua blue two-tone bottom, the aqua blue stickers on it, the color skid plates on it. And this baby has a lot of nice features on it, including the multi-height pods and the carbon foot bar. And here's our sales manager, Brandon Arnold. Many of you talked to on the phone. Hey guys. And Ollie, who's the real superstar. So <laughs> Brandon, this is a pretty neat boat. Yeah, I've always been a huge fan of the Prospector 15, even just our traditional tandem boat. But the Combi, it, it really just, it brings versatility to a whole new level. Um, great for uh, recreational paddling with families, but it's also um, extremely um, comfortable for a dog and a paddler my size. Um, it, it's, yeah, it's one of those things that it's, it's, it's not overly wide. So when you're paddling, you're in a, you're in a good, comfortable position. Um, beautiful carbon foot bar for bracing off of. Um, if the wind and waves pick up, it's, it's comfortable. I can really, really brace and feel confident on the water. Um, another thing I really like about this boat is just the, being able to kneel comfortably in it, heel it over slightly to the side, and then it becomes a little more um, maneuverable. I can play around with it a bit. Um, but yeah, it's just extremely versatile, comfortable, high in volume for tripping, um, but it's, it's really just a jack of all trades. Now, that, this is really neat, folks. This is how Canadians like to paddle in the traditional manner. Most of us learn at camps or from friends and families how to lean the boat way over to the side and with the David Yost designs with the bubble being carried way up, it's beautiful to do that. And then very quickly, you can move back into the middle of the boat. So Prospector 15 Combi, average size people and smaller, even someone my size yeah, can solo this. That's, that's exactly it. Like just the, the volume it has, it can really accommodate anyone. It's, it's really sweet. <laughs> Cheers to the 15 Combi. Here is a beautiful Prospector 15 in the standard configuration without the Combi, but we wanted to show it to you. This has the beautiful moss green gel on the outside. It's got the beautiful cherry outers on it with the carbon end caps, which is an option. It's got the beautiful cherry interior on this boat. And Joe, let's show the folks this seat carefully. This is what we call the bow versus seat, which comes standard on all the Prospector 15s that aren't combis this year. So what we've done is we've made the seat a full strap wider, made sure it came right out to the side of the boat, and we've curved the front bar has always been curved forward. If you're kneeling, it's comfortable. What we did is we leveled the seat out and we also curved the back seat so that if you're paddling solo in the traditional manner, it's extremely comfortable. Brandon, you came to us with the idea for this and the, our engineers put this together. Yeah, and they did an incredible job with it. It, it, it basically came from customer request. We, we got a lot of customers uh, interested in the Prospector 15. Um, it, you know, traditionally in a symmetric canoe, you'd, you would paddle uh, from the bow facing the stern. 
um, and they just wanted a little more comfort in that bow position and, and something that worked really well and, and the, the technicians figured it out. It's, it's phenomenal. So let's show the folks. Yeah, perfect. So Brandon, this is comfortable to both sit and kneel in? Yeah, that's, that's one of the great things about it. If we're just out paddling recreationally, I can have my feet out in front of me, um, kind of keep, keep Ollie in between my legs. So if he sees a, an animal on the shore, he doesn't get spooked and want to jump for it or anything like that. But um, yeah, it's, it's a great boat, lots of room for, for sitting in a, just a, a recreational position. If it gets rough, windy, really easy to transition to a kneeling position and, and brace yourself a little better. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great boat, one of my favorites. Beautiful. So folks looking at a combi canoe, this may be a configuration you want to consider. Cheers. So the Prospector 15 really suits average size, smaller people looking for a solo combi type boat. I can paddle in it though, I'm 6'4", 240. So if I'm looking for just a day paddling boat, the Prospector 15 will do. But this particular boat, the Prospector 16 combi, is much better for larger people and also is a fantastic extended tripping boat. So let's go over the two beauties we have here. This is our Red Rosso Textrine finish, which we can do in either the Kevlar Fusion or the Carbon Fusion laminate. This one has the black internal skid plates, which are standard. The two-tone finish, the champagne comes standard with all of our Textrine boats. And Joe, show the folks just how beautiful this color is. This is an aluminized finish that is vaporized into this cloth, and it's just super, super cool. We only do these with epoxy resin. These are truly a work of art, and they're super, super strong. This particular one has the cherry interior. It's got the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. And Joe, show folks the nice outer lip on this, how it really, this deflects water and spray, gives you something to grab onto when you're flipping up in the middle. It's got the beautiful carbon end caps, which are custom fitted to the boat. This one's got the black and gold Kevlar Fusion interior. This is actually a customer's boat spoke. Kevin Duffy, who lives in New York, and he ordered it with a bow sliding seat in the front so smaller paddlers can move the seat way forward to make it easier to reach over the side. All of our combis have at least one structural thwart right in the bow. When we do the slider, it comes standard with it. It gives the boat so much structural integrity. There's so little play in the boat. When I take this cherry yoke off, you can, the gunnels have a little bit of flex to them, but when you paddle solo, the boat really maintains its structural integrity. And Joe, on this boat, you can really see the internal rib structure. You can see where we put them all in the boat here, right? The side pods always get mounted within a rib structure. So this particular one, Kevin ordered the solo seat detachable that quickly we can take it out and then this quickly we can put the yoke on so kevin got one at a really versatile boat to carry him through the rest of his life so with this setup he's got a fantastic two-person day paddling tripping boat he ordered his with the carbon foot bar in the back so when he paddles, he can really put a lot of pressure on the bar, really gives you a little bit more power and control in the boat. And Joe, the sun's hitting the back here. Let's show the folks how beautiful this Rosso Tech Stream is in the sunlight, folks. You have to see these in person. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now, let's go over this baby. This is an Expedition Kevlar Prospector 16 Combi. It's got our carbon Kevlar trim on it. It's got the sapphire blue finish with the champagne two-tone bottom. And again, the carbon internal skid plate is standard on this boat. This laminate, the Expedition Kevlar, has the beautiful basalt anegra co-mingle on the inside. It's got a beautiful earth tone look to it. 
and look at this baby how it's set up. So again, it'll come standard with the bow thwart, which doesn't come standard in the regular Prospector 16 to keep for structural integrity for the boat for transport when you're paddling solo. This particular one also has the universal mount package on the bow thwart, so you can set up camera equipment, fishing equipment, a GoPro. This one also has the carbon foot bar in the center position, so if someone's out paddling by themselves, it gives them a little bit more power and control on the boat. This one's got the beautiful detachable yoke on it. This is a cherry one. The, the cherry yokes weigh two and a half pounds, and they are a $200 option. You can get a sassafras, another really nice wood that weighs a pound and a half. It's a $300 option, or an incredible all carbon detachable yoke, which weighs a pound and a half, and that is a $700 option. Now, this particular boat has the multi height pods on it. So this one has got both an upper and lower seating position. Some people really like the lower position, perhaps with one of the GCI sit backer chairs, very comfortable for fishing, or we call it the grandparent seating position. If someone wants to come along for a ride on a paddle and they want to sit down low and not paddle perhaps, enjoy the beautiful sunshine, to read a book, do some fishing, it's a great position. And this quickly, I can take it out and bring it to the upper position. So this is an absolute beautiful, we call this the super duty, heavy duty setup. It's got everything in it. So cheers to the Prospector 16 Combi and we're gonna get a paddler in it now. Okay, folks, this is Scott Way, who does all our social media. Many of you have communicated with him, and he, you do a great job on it, Scott. Thank you. Now, you look really comfortable. Like, this looks like a really good size boat for you to solo. It is. I, if anybody has seen any of the previous videos that I've been in, it's no secret I'm not particularly small. Uh, I'm about 6'2", about 250, uh, in winter condition anyway. And for a person of my size and a person who does what I do in the outdoors, uh, one of the biggest considerations, of course, is fit, but also function. So I think a common question that we get is, what are you getting with the value of your boat? How many options do I have? How much can I get out of one particular platform? And this would be an option uh, for a person of my size that's excellent, because there's pretty much nothing I, I can't do. So with this setup, where I am right now, um, given my size, even though it's a 16-foot canoe and a full-size tandem canoe, I'm actually big enough, I have enough length in my arms that I can paddle this comfortably as a solo canoe. So here I am in the middle. If I wanted to, I can reach from here. Uh, depending on what I want to do, how fast I want to go, a common thing is people even switch to a kayak paddle. Again, I can do that from here. If I want to paddle Canadian style, I can heel it over if I want to do that. And then again, versatility. Uh, if I want to change my setup, if I was fishing, for example, which is something I love to do, with this boat, we have the universal Scotty mounts in front of me. So I can sit, I can kneel, I can fish from either position with this carbon foot bar. Again, I can choose how I want my paddling to go. So if we really have some miles to make, I can lean on this and we can get going. We can cover distance. If we're a little bit more casual just for the day, I might kneel, heel it over Canadian style. So. Again, there's pretty much nothing I can't do. And then the tandem performance. It's great. Two people tripping, day paddling. Again, so a common question I think we all get when someone's looking at a canoe is you want to know what value you're getting for your dollar. It's a significant investment when you buy a swift boat. So I think a lot of people want to know if I'm going to put that much money into a canoe, how many things can I do with it? You don't want to find yourself in a situation where you've got this amazing new swift boat, uh, but there's a situation where it may not be ideal. With this one, a classic 16-foot prospector. I mean, it's been around forever for a reason. It is the jack-of-all-trades canoe, so I've been on many an adventure where it was me. I've been in the bow and in the stern. We've done day paddling. We've done multi-day tripping. Again, I, we can load it up. We can not load it up, but I can definitely use it as a tandem tripper. Nice. Now, one last thing, folks, that I think is important is Scott's the structural integrity is incredible. When we, we've weighed our seats up to 300 pounds is what we've tested them for. 
If you're 260, 270 or more, let us, let your dealer know when you're ordering the boat. We can do an expedition version where we do beefier side pods and the beefier ribbing system that create even more structural integrity for you that'll make you more comfortable in the boat. So cheers to the Prospector 16 combi. Cheers. So the Prospectors are both symmetrical canoes. Both ends have the same shape. The Keewaden 16 and 17 are asymmetrical. They're sleeker in the front. They're straighter keeled in the back end. There's a little bit more rock, rocker, the upwards curvature in the bottom and the front of the boat. So the bow's more maneuverable than the sterns. For me, being a somewhat skilled paddler, the Keewadens are the ultimate tandem boats that David Yost has designed for recreational paddling, tripping, beautiful in wind and waves. So let's go over these two beauties right here. This is an Expedition Kevlar with a Basalta Negra co-mingle on the outside. It's got, again, it has the black internal skid plates on it. And look at the way this looks in the sun it versus when it's in the shade. It's got a beautiful, beautiful glow to it. It's a nice earth tone color. This particular one has the cherry outers on it with the carbon end caps. And Joe, let's show the folks the beautiful basalt and negra commingle on the inside. And why don't you swing around real quick? Why don't you show them how the sun over here on the inside, how you can see right through this. Look at my fingers here, folks. This is super, super cool. Now, this particular one has a really nice setup as well. This is how I would personally set up one. This has what's called the quick change seating system where the bow and the stern seats are both detachable. They can come out quickly. Again, we put a bow thwart in, which isn't in the standard Keywaden 16, but it gives the boat tremendous structural integrity. I absolutely love having the carbon foot bar. I like being able to push with my feet. When I paddle, I just feel I've got so much more control. And if it's windy and wavy out, I've got a lot more power to get through it. This has the cherry detachable yoke on it. It's also got the solo detachable seat on it. So this baby has all three seats detachable. And again, Joe, look at this boat in the sun here. Absolutely beautiful, this earth tone look. If you're a nature lover and you love the earth tones, this is an absolutely beautiful finish. So let's show the folks now. This is another popular configuration here. This is an Expedition Kevlar Keyweight and 16 Kami with the emerald green finish on the outside. And this particular one has, you can see an emerald internal skid plate on it to give it even more protection, that's standard. This particular one has the all black carbon Kevlar trim. And again, just note how smooth and caressable this is. Our factory team does a great job. I actually get this a lot from folks, guys. They say what, when they come and they see our boats in person, the fit and finish of the Swift boats is one thing that really sets them aside from other boats in the industry. So thank you, factory team. So this particular one has the fixed seat in the bow and the stern. And again, see how wide we make them. Nice curve to the back bar, angle to the front bar. Because it's on the ribbing system, tremendous structural integrity. The bow thwart. This one's got the detachable cherry yoke on it. And again, folks, this is an option on the combi canoes. If you're purchasing a combi, decide whether you want the cherry, the sassafras, or the carbon yoke if you need it. And this particular one, the center seat is detachable on it. So I'm gonna take this out. And folks, this is one of our most popular tandem canoes. This is the Keywaden 16. So we've been talking a lot about solo performance. It's great to have a boat that is ideally designed for tandem use that gives you excellent solo performance. So I'm gonna get in one now to show you. 
Okay, folks, here's a Kiwaden 16 Combi. I've just had a fantastic tandem trip with my gal. Done a whole bunch of portaging. This is our heaviest duty laminate. This is the Expedition Kevlar. And even this boat is just super, super light. You should wait and try some of our carbons and Kevlars and see how light they are. So I finished the trip, I'm gonna flip her down. And it's a beautiful sunny day out in Algonquin Park. So how about, how about I go solo paddling? So this quickly, folks, I can take the bow seats out. There's the bow seat. Then here's the stern seat. How does she look, folks, without any seats in it? <laughs> so when you're transporting your boat, make sure you take out all your detachable parts. The bow seat, the center seat, the stern seat, the yoke, the carbon foot bar. So I've just finished up, folks. I'm gonna take the yoke out also. Now, one thing that happens when you take all the hardware out also, it makes the boat lighter and lighter. So loading it on and off a vehicle, it becomes even lighter to carry. So now I'm gonna go out solo paddling. Now the Kiwaden 16 is an absolutely wonderful two-person boat. So let's go for a solo paddle now. This is a very comfortable boat to get in and out of. And I love the carbon foot bar. I've told you folks about this before. So let's start out with the canoe paddle here. Now the seat we put on all the combis right at the balance position if you don't have any gear in the boat. So right now, I'll be perfectly balanced in the water. If I put a dog right in front of me, I might be a little bow heavy. Sometimes I'll put a little weight behind me. If I'm solo tripping, I take a big pack and I put a dry bag on the top with heavy stuff that I keep in front of me, my camera equipment, my munchies, put the pack right behind me. So this is a Badger paddle that Mike Badger has custom made for me. And Joe, let's show the folks just how rounded it is here in the chine area. And as Scott and Brandon have pointed out, these boats are so easy to lean on their side a little bit and paddle in the traditional manner. Because our seat frames are so wide, much, much wider than anyone else puts in their boats, if I do want to move to the side a little bit, it's really comfortable to. So when I paddle, I can really keep my stroke right along the side. I'm a very good size for this boat. 6'4", I've got long arms. Average size people and bigger really like soloing this boat. So if you're looking for really good versatility, Kiwaden 16 Combi is a great boat for trippers. Now the seating system. I like paddling like this a lot. I like paddling with one leg forward and one knee down. And again, this is super comfortable. Now, another thing that's very popular, hardcore solo canoeists thinks it's sacrilegious to paddle a canoe with a double bladed paddle. I like using whatever's gonna be most efficient for me to cross a waterway. And I always take both a canoe paddle and a kayak paddle with me on all my trips. I love the, the extendable versions. Bending Branches makes great ones. This is a Werner Kaliss. This happens to be my personal favorite. I can adjust the length and the angle of the paddle with just one clip with what's called a lever lock. And you can see the dimensions on here. I control the angle and the pitch. The reason I like the extendable if I'm out on a really windy day, I like making the paddle longer and I find I can do sweep strokes a little bit more to help me go in the direction I want to. And with the drip rings, it helps keep the splash and spray out of the boat. So Kiwaden 16 Combi, solo, tandem, what a great boat. So we've just gotten to a portage, folks. So let's show you how quickly right now I can put my pack together I can put the yoke back on this boat. What I always do is lash my paddles into the canoe when I'm on the portages. I use ropes. Many people use bungees or some other things. So we've just had a great trip. The weight of this boat for solo, 
Wow. I can carry a pack and this boat. This one's with all these options on it. It's in the neighborhood of 40 pounds. So, so comfortable. And what a beautiful boat. Cheers to the Keywaden 16 Combi. Okay, folks, take a look at the Keywaden 16 Combi with the tandem configuration with our Superstar Ollie in it. This is the way to travel. Expedition Kevlar Keywaden 16 Combi with cherry outers and carbon decks. Let's all go for a trip now. Cheers. Folks, here's another option to consider for Combi paddlers. This is, we have a beautiful detachable kneeling thwart that we do super wide. Most kneeling thwarts you see in the industry are half this width and are not very comfortable at all. We do a much wider one and we've relaxed the angle on it so it's a little bit more comfortable. So Brandon, why don't you show folks this position? Now when I was young, I could kneel for hours in a boat and it was relatively comfortable. As I've aged, I'm not as comfortable kneeling. So Brandon, though, is a good age for this. I'm in my, I've just turned 60. Brandon's a nice young fellow, and this is a, a setup. If you want to keep the yoke in the traditional position and you're a casual solo paddler, many folks do get this setup with the detachable kneeling forward. We do have a lot of smaller families that get the Keywaden 16 combi to use for family type use and solo. If you got a bigger family, a big guy, this boat may be a dream come true for you. You can get so many configurations out of one boat. And what I always tell people, you literally have four different setups in this boat. Divide the total cost of the boat by four and you actually have a pretty damn reasonable price for a boat. So let's go over this one, guys. This is a demo. It's been around for a few years, so it's a little bit marked up. This is the Amber Kevlar Fusion finish. All the new ones were to putting the black internal skid plates on its standard. This baby has the beautiful black and gold carbon Kevlar trim with the carbon end tax, the cherry interior. This one has the setup I would love. I was the one that specced this boat out where it's got the adjustable seat on it so smaller paddlers can move their seat forward. Makes it easier to reach over the sides. And they can also brace their feet right on the float tank which gives them a greater feeling of control. Here we have the beautiful carbon foot bar which is an option. Cherry detachable yoke. And this guy has the multi-height pod seating system, a great feature for a boat this size. So the Keywaden 17 Combi may be the ideal canoe for you to do everything. So for my size, the Keywaden 17 doesn't feel like too big of a solo boat. A lot of families, if they're getting their very young kids into paddling, the larger paddler will sit in the middle, one of the parents, and put the two kids in the ends of the boat where it's easier for them to reach over the sides. The option I really like on this boat is the carbon foot bar. And let me just show you folks why right here. I find when I paddle, I could, you really load the weight on your feet if you really want to get good power into the stroke. So you can load the weight of your body as you push forward with your foot, which really helps push the boat forward. And what I like with this is that I can put my feet all over on the bar. You can also get the kayak foot braces on the side, which are a little bit easier to adjust if you're getting a bunch of different paddlers into it. But your feet are always right at the sides with that particular configuration. So the Keywaden 17 Combi, really efficient hull shape in the water. Beautiful family boat, beautiful two-person tripping boat. This boat does so much, the versatility can take you anywhere. One more thing to consider, folks, for a combi canoe. This is our Keywaden 16 with a tandem pack setup. And with this setup, folks, we put the seats way off the ground. It's virtually at the height of the canoe seat. It's got our super comfortable pack boat kayak seat in it with a ton of paddling. 
people that have issues with their back or that they just can't get comfortable canoeing really love this configuration. We do it with both the bow seat and the stern seat are standard. It comes standard with the kayak foot braces in the back. Some people get the carbon foot bar option if they want to put their feet more in the fit metal like I just showed. Now why I'm showing this to you is that we've had a number of customers order this with the, a center canoe seat in the middle in the balance position. We can't do a pack boat seat in the middle. And with that, we put a bow thwart across like the other combis. The yoke would become a detachable option if you want it. And then the center bench canoe seat for people that are looking versatility for versatility with a boat like this. So the Kiwaden 16 tandem pack can be ordered with the center solo seat. Hopefully folks, we've given you all the information you need to put your ultimate combi canoe together. And we're also working on a technology video with all our laminate options for this year. Our Expedition Kevlars, our Kevlar Fusions, we'll have our Carbon Fusions, our Expedition Carbon, our Techstream finishes. And check out our beautiful new Forge Carbon finish in the sunlight. We've got the red, the purple, the blue. Some people really like just the clear black carbon. Folks, maybe you're going to need more than one combi canoe to satisfy your needs. Cheers!